is bam 07 BMW 530XI wife's in there she's gonna help me record a little bit not bad for 600 bucks huh so it was six hundred dollars uh maybe like 635 for two main reasons it has a lot of miles 170,000 miles and also I had an announcement for a major engine defect it has a really bad misfire but I have a feeling I could fix it pretty easily usually on these cars it's just like an ignition coil or a spark plug or something simple like that but uh yeah I'm gonna try to fix it up and see if I can get it uh, drivable condition being that it's so cheap it's pretty cool because it's that's not really an issue modifying it uh, this car isn't really a car you want to make fast it's more I guess like appearance mods I was kind of considering doing some uh, some vinyl wrapping or uh, I don't know, just appearance things, to make it look uh, make it look nice. Maybe black out the wheels or different wheels altogether. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I'm excited to see what comes of this car. Paint's actually pretty good. It's got like one small dent on the uh, passenger front fender. The back bumper could use a buff. Trunk could use a buff. It's got some fine scratches. Not really a big deal. Overall, it's in really good shape. There's a small dent in the fender. Maybe I can get that pity yard one day. Right there. Not a big deal. Pretty much for 600 bucks, I can't really complain. Just the fact that I could drive it home is a hell of a deal in, in itself, so. Okay, so being a 530XI, I'm pretty sure this is the highest trim level offered for the 530. So it's it's still the three liter non-turbo, but it is it's all-wheel drive. Uh, I guess what sets it apart? Maybe it, it has heated seats, uh, navigation, uh, sunroof. I don't know if that's an option, but uh, yeah, it's just supposed to have some uh, different options and things that a uh, regular 530 wouldn't have. So part of the reason this car was so cheap is because it had a, a major engine defect announcement. It runs really really rough. I think it has a really bad misfire. Kind of sounds like a Subaru. Try to get an exhaust clip if I can, but uh, a lot of the times they make that announcement and they they're not really sure what's wrong with the car. If, if they're not sure, they'll just say it has a major engine defect. And sometimes it can be something simple. So first thing I'm gonna do is put a scanner on it to see what code it has. One code found. I'm using my Anso uh, AD310. By the way, I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. Read codes stored. So the code that came up is PO304. That's a cylinder four misfire. And uh, more than likely, I think that's gonna be a coil. But a pretty easy trick uh, I like to use is to kind of diagnose it is just swap the coils over. If it's like a coil on plug design, you can just swap coils and see if the misfire follows the swap. And if it does, then you found your problem. It's gonna be the coil. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna swap the coils and see if I can uh, figure it out. All right, so. One, two, three, four. This is cylinder four. Plug that. Switch. I guess I'll swap four and three and see if the misfire goes from cylinder four to cylinder three. And if it does, then the coil is the problem. Okay, so sure enough, the misfire actually went to cylinder three now after I swapped the coils. So it looks like we found the problem. So I'm just gonna, I guess, run to the parts store and grab a coil. It's just, it just needs one. So it should be pretty easy. All right, so I'll put it up to our Riley's. I'm gonna see if they have a coil in stock. All right, so I picked up the brand new Bosch coil. It was like 30 bucks from our Riley. How cool would it be if that fixed the problem? Simple fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the codes again. Uh, let's see if there's any pending. No pending codes, and there should have been any stored with no pending. So yeah, no stored codes, no pending. So I guess the car's fixed. Is that crazy? Thirty dollars.
But yeah, if you're interested to see more of this build, uh, or I wouldn't really call it a build, but interested to see what I'm going to do with this car, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. I gotta go get toys. Don't sit in my seat. Yes, sir.